Firefighters in Kissimmee are now using a high-tech driving simulator to help them prepare for unexpected scenarios that may pop up on the way to emergencies. West 2's Megan Milato has a look at the simulator that is also helping new firefighters get comfortable behind the wheel. Before new firefighters get behind the wheel of the massive fire trucks and ambulances they use on a daily basis, they get trained on how to drive them. A new driving simulator is expanding that training. It's very authentic to what a real fire engine would look like. Firefighters hop in and take a virtual drive around town. With the instructor sitting over here, what he will do is he will design different scenarios based on the needs of that individual student in his history of driving. Daytime, nighttime, rain or shine. The instructor can even throw in a flat tire or cars and pedestrians who may not be paying attention. Deputy Fire Chief Joe Leone says this will help advanced drivers and new ones. We have new firefighters that come on that are less than 21 years of age, maybe six, seven months ago working at a fast food restaurant, and now they're driving, they're, they're driving an, an ambulance rescue. Uh, with lights and sirens, and I don't think it's fair to them to be put in that situation so quickly with just X amount of hours of on-road on the road training. By doing this first, we believe this will lead to a much better, safer environment and a more confident driver. Right now, the simulator is set up as a fire truck, but it can also replicate a number of other vehicles like police cars and ambulances. This one's going to be emergency. The simulator is inside a trailer, so training can happen anywhere. Instead of taking units out of their response area, which will slow down response to the public, we could bring that driving simulator to that fire station itself, thereby keeping that company in their station and keeping their response time appropriate for the public. The total cost of the simulator and trailer, Leone says, is about $200,000. The goal is to have each firefighter train twice a year. In Kissimmee, Megan Mulatto, WESH 2 News. The deputy fire chief says he hopes this starts a trend. He says the simulated training could also help public works and school bus drivers.